Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 3-2 To begin the parts, let's go I probably shouldn't be Mini Mario this stage <laughs> There we go the, that's gonna, the physics of Mini Mario is gonna throw me off so badly uh, If you get a shell to hit that, you'll get a 1-up out of it um, Just be careful of these wavy mushrooms They're... They're more disorienting than they might seem. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure to make your jump when you know you can make your jump, basically. And I think there's a pipe I want to go inside. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And this is a really disorienting one, because now you, now you gotta wait for it to go into the pipe, and if you try and, if you overshoot your jump, you'll end up in the abyss, because the the mushroom won't be underneath you, and yeah, it's a pretty dangerous pipe to get into, uh, despite how it looks. Um, anyway, that was the first star coin area. And there's a second star coin, very easy, and now you gotta get inside this green pipe. And hit that. Oh, by the way, these are apparently spin blocks. These things that you jump on, they spin, shoot, they spin you up in the air like that. Yeah, they don't look at all like a block, but they're a, a spin block. I <laughs> forget it. I mean, I guess they sort of are like a block. Okay, P, be very, very careful in this area. Because look how much these suckers are waving. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to fall off them. Or I should say miss a jump. Because they're, they're moving a lot faster than they seem in your uh, timing. And this is, I messed it up, but this is the secret exit of the level. Yeah, I'm getting that first. And then I'll go through the uh, rest of it, get the third coin in the uh, regular path, and yeah. It's a pretty short level overall, but that might be because it has uh, uh, two paths. You know, it expects you to, co to have to go through it twice if you want to 100% the sucker. What's inside our red angel block? What we already have. <laughs> So I guess we don't need that. For the most part, I'll probably just be able to uh, run through the stage now because I don't... Oop, they, why didn't you wall kick? I was holding against the wall because I uh, cleared out everything up until the uh, super wavy mushroom that's going to... Um, right here that leads to the three pipes. And this time I'm not going to go in the three pipes. Um, you can actually control the lean of this mushroom a little bit, I think, because I've gotten it to lean in both directions, or maybe it's maybe it's random or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's there is some way to control it. I, as I said, I could be wrong though. Ooh! That's, that's a risky red coin sequence to do. At 51 lives, over halfway to that elusive... Pfft, okay, not so elusive, 99 mark. Now I gotta... Uh, shoot. I was supposed to use a Koopa to get up there, wasn't I? Uh, oh, wait, 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 I can, well, <laughs> that was the end of the stage, so you know I can complete it. Hmm, maybe that thing is random, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the red coins this time. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over to this one now, because it is the one, the one I need. The one we all need! Oh yeah! Oh, I don't care about the hit, I got the coin. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 good, good boy, good boy, yes! Completed! Woo and now that both exits are complete, I will continue along the regular path. Until we get to a, like, meet-up section of where these paths, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do... No, that's pretty far out of the way. That's like an entire path on itself, if I recall correctly. Three, dash, tower. It starts out with three pipes. Only one of them is correct. The other ones will waste your time. Oh, mini mushroom is kind of handy here. But the one that you want to go inside is the middle one. And wow, that really flings you high when you are mini Mario. Uh, probably shouldn't be mini Mario, actually. So I'm going to plop down here. And yeah, boop. So if you go in the other ones, uh, they will shoot you up top if you are Mini Mario. Uh, well, maybe not that one, but this one will. So, but otherwise, the only successful one is the middle one. The other two are just traps. 
Mm. Okay, now I want to go up this way. By the way, to climb fences, use the D-pad, press up the, to latch onto them, and then you can move around in all directions. There's also a little bit more to this in that if you press the Y button, you can whack the fence, and anything behind the fence, like say this Koopa, will be killed as a result of that. You can also kill stuff on fences by plopping them, I mean, popping their heads like that. It's, it's uh, you get a lot of power on those fences. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the freedom of the range of movement and everything like that. Oh, by the way, here's some amps from Super Mario 64. Uh, I'm flipping over to this side again because there's actually a little puzzle involved with that. Uh, hold on, I want to see what's under here first. Eh. Mm, that's not very helpful. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, I guess it is, but it's not what I was uh, expecting power-wise. Uh, but anyway, there's the second coin, and the third coin is a spot that you need to be Big Mario to reach, if I recall correctly. Gotta dig your way through, and... No, wait, this is wrong. It's up here, through the store. Yeah, so you can't take hits uh, when you want to come through here, because otherwise you won't be able to uh, finish this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> didn't make it. Well, is it possible to cheat this? I don't know. Probably not. So I'm going to restart this. <laughs> Should probably kill the Koopas along the way, though, actually. You know, just on my way back, but not that, not big of a deal overall. There's the last coin, <clears throat> star coin. And this also leads you to, isn't there a midpoint here? Oh, it actually skips you past the midpoint. Whoa. Yeah, there's another section that you didn't see of this castle that I just ended up skipping out on entirely. Uh, I guess I'll go back through the castle and show you it for kicks. Anyway, Bowser Jr. is back! Do you have any new attacks this time? Do you? Do you? I'm, I'm not impressed. You know what? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, the tower is completed. Other than that alternate path that I'd like to show. And that leads over to that level. Alright, so I'm gonna just go right in without any cuts. Just to show you where it cuts, I mean, where it moves off to. Because the spot that splits paths in this level, it's really early in the level, in fact. Um, it's, uh, right, oopsie, it's, you know what, I actually actually use you now, because there is a power up in here that I know of, yes, anyway, if you don't, don't have that, you can take that path, okay, now this is the spot where it transitions to another way, by the way, as you see, I'm behind the grate still, or uh, fences still, which is why I can't get this coin, that's why you wanted to flip yourself uh, back around, um, on that amp puzzle of sorts, way back at the start of the area. Um, okay, now this is the new area that we haven't seen yet. If you go in this door, it'll just lead you to a dead end with coins. I mean, I guess coins are nice and all, but... Yeah. <laughs> I think that door is more of a hint that there's another door on the other side of that wall that you gotta figure out how to get to, more than anything. And I really don't like being on this side of the fence. It kind of disorients me a little. <laughs> Xbox D-pad, you are my nemesis. And this door leads you... Oh, by the way, I think I missed the midpoint. It was um, at the start of the area off to the right side. There's a power up there. I kind of jumped the gun. But yeah, here we are back at uh, Bowser Jr. And that was the uh, um, alternate path, I guess you could say. Mm. Uh, defeat Bowser Jr. normally this time, I guess. If you don't realize by now, Bowser Jr. is this game's Boom Boom. <laughs> yep, he's Boom Boom's replacement. That's why he's so ridiculously easy. Alright, so there we go. Now I consider the tower officially shown. 3-3. Let's go. Hmm, I think this yellow pipe you can't go in. Yep. Okay. Just wanted to check the alternate routes of possibility first. Wait, 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 wait. Blooper time. Gotta get the fireballs out. Really handy versus bloopers, because you can just bloop, and they track you too, so yeah, you don't wanna have a ton of those behind you. 
So get your fireballs ready. Please don't nip at me. With your beakiness. Please, please be nice. Uh, isn't there a, I thought there was a P-switch somewhere around here. Unless I'm jumping the gun again, which wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, it's down here. I think there's a midpoint, too. Oh, maybe not. Go this way, go this way. They go in the direction that you're facing when you're on the ground, by the way, so, that you, so you can sort of, kind of lure them where you want them to go like watch it's gonna go left and it's gonna go left again and it's gonna keep going left sometimes they reverse direction but usually you can get them to move out of your way come on can you just go on go <laughs> come on you know what oh i was gonna say i'll shoot you with a fireball but that that didn't work out too well oh oh i need to get inside oh shoot this right here, if I want to 100% the sucker, there we go. Yeah, see that the current would, will push you out. Yeah, that's why you want to use a P-switch to stop the current, and yeah. Uh, I'm gonna power up here. Because <laughs> I know there's more bloopers to come. Oh yes, this is the blooper level. Oh, current. Bad. Very bad. Nope. Mm. That was just a waste of time. <laughs> uh, one of these, you need to go in. This one. And there's a coin at the bottom right corner of the screen, if I re remember correctly. But beware of baby bloopers that spawn from mama. Ooh, mm. Well, they don't, they don't so much spawn as they do get shot out. Because they're trailing the mama. And yeah. So baby, loop, baby bloopers... Almost as threatening, but uh, oh no, don't you dare. Yeah, see when it flashes rainbow like that, it'll shoot out its babies. Come on, go that way. Good boy. I'm not I'm not even gonna go to the upper right corner this way, because the upper right corner is the way I wanna go. But ooh, I don't I'm not gonna bother with that block. <laughs> but uh yeah, it's it's a pretty risky little area there. <laughs> um, oh boy, I'm scared. Oh, this is this is the blooper surprise. Okay, get get underneath the coin. You don't you wanna get the coin from the top. You wanna get like from the side and then grab a jump. Go 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 <laughs> Tricky Tricky bloopers. Never trust the blooper. Also never trust the pipe. There could be a piranha plant. <laughs> okay, it looks safe. Everything seems safe. <sighs> Success! Oh, by the way, it's the last two digits of the timer. If they're identical, you'll, you'll get fireworks based on what digit it is. Yeah, I made a boo-boo earlier. Oh, I'm human. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Now, we go to the game's first ghost house. Oh, um, I forgot to mention as well. I think um, the these mushroom houses that appear after you get fireworks, if you get ones, twos, or threes, it'll be a regular item house. Uh, three, uh, fours, fives, and sixes will be a life house, and sevens, eights, and nines will be a mega mushroom house. If I recall correctly, I could be wrong about that, but it is possible to trigger the kind of house that you want. And wait, what am I? What am I not going to the life house? Like, why? What? What? What, what was going through my mind there? That made me think, hmm, maybe I shouldn't go to that life house that has no impact on the gameplay. <laughs> well, aside from collecting lives, I'm I'm trying to trying to play the game sorta of, kinda naturally here by um uh aw, poopers. By trying to get lives as I go rather than doing one of the many, many different infinite life tricks that you can do, like in the first world. Like just to see when I reach 99 lives. I'm at 63 now, so I'm well on my way. <laughs> Alright, Ghost House. It has two exits. Oh, so spooky. No map. And for good reason, because ghost houses typically have a lot of really weird paths 
and you'll see why. Anyway, let's grab that power. And also, blocks don't quite react the same as you would normally expect. Uh, we've got some slidey, slidey stairs here, typical of your haunted manor. So I'm going to hit that, get those stairs back up. And if you don't make me make it up in time, obviously you're going to slide back down. Um, there's actually a quite, quite a difficult secret exit to get in this place. Uh, you've you've got to have a lot of speed. Oh, that, that thing that I killed was a Spelunkin. That's a pumpkin. It's, you have to jump on it twice to kill it. When you hit it once, it gets faster. It gets like ornery. Uh, inside this is a power-up. But inside this is a boo! <laughs> By the way, I didn't introduce boos properly. They attack you when their back is to you, but not when you're facing them. Like, see, they home in on you. It's, yeah, it's because they're very shy. See that little blush between their hands below their eyes? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they are a silly enemy. Okay, here's the transition point. Uh, I mean, uh, not transition point. Right where I'm standing here is where another... Where, is where a secret door will appear to said secret exit. But I'm going to do that last because it's really difficult to do this. Um, I'll show you. Yeah, see that? Look at that. See how much faster they move? It's not really difficult or anything like that to defeat them. Or Yeah, but it's, they're just... It's just something that you need to keep in mind when you hit them because their extra speed after you hit them once might throw you off a little bit. Anyway, now let's... Oh, shoot, I should have waited until that platform was in better position. I can always wait until the switch runs out and try, and try it again. So, okay, I'm going to wait until the platform's at the top. And yes, I'm leading that boo down there for a reason. I just want to get it out of my way. And I want to go up here and then off to the left. There we go. And I wonder if I'll be able to get off to the other side without having this hit that switch again. Oh, nope, I can't jump off that. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Maybe it was a bad idea to move the boo there after all. <laughs> that was entirely my fault. Alright, now, um, over here? See that spot there? Well, that's going to lead to the normal exit. But, just wait for it. Uh, this, this is a very special switch here. I'm going to show you. When you hit that, if you go around this way and drop off here, now you see there's two doors there. See that? See that? See that? Yup. That's the hint that uh, of where the secret exit is. So, for the secret exit, we actually have to race from here over to that door and hope we make it there in time. It's very, very stingy in time. So, I'm going to, yeah, do the regular exit first. Um... I'm pretty sure I need... Yeah, shell. Shell, shell! Got it! Yes! I have pretty decent timing, so I am, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to get the power that I need from those boxes, unless I'm, like, underwater or something like that, where it really throws me off. But yeah, I need a shell for this up ahead here. Bloop. See that? E. By the way, I forgot to mention, when you're ducking like this, you're invulnerable to... Pretty much anything. Look at this. La, 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 la. <laughs> it's pretty neat. You can also uh, sort of like skid to a stop that way as well. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go through the door and visit the regular exits. Um, no, 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 no. Bad shell. Bad shell. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Woo. All right, secret exit time. Should I cut ahead? I don't really think it's necessary, in all honesty. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna go in and just commentate through the stuff we've seen, I suppose. Um, can I like replace the shell with something? No, I can't. Figures. <laughs> I just don't trust myself with the shell. The shell has often been my demise. <laughs> I've probably had more deaths than I've had saves with the shell, actually. Um, I'm just gonna coast my way through here, hopefully. And now it starts. Kind of. I need to just get myself up here and... Yeah, maybe I should take a hit from the boo. Just to lose my shell. Oh, <clears throat> shell! Okay, here we go. Ready? 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 Go, 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 and hurry. 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 Good lord, hurry. 
you don't have much time and hit the switch on your way down because it'll extend the timer. There we go. I made it. I'm kind of happy. <laughs> I'm surprised too. All right, wall kick and get up to there and one up for the win. Woo! And there we go. Secret exit achieved. And where's the cannon lead? Let's go see, shall we? Because that'll save our game too, which is nice. And I'm gonna end off the part soon, which is uh, extra nice to be able to save my game. World six, huh? 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 Yep. See mountains in the background. That's where we're going. Why did you turn around in that direction? It's longer. Woo! And this is world six. The mountain world, of which I'm not going to do until later. <laughs> but I will end off this part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we go finish World 3.